Hello YouTube and welcome to part 5. In we still working on our framework and in today's video we're actually not going to be doing a lot of ADB stuff. Okay, I'm sorry I know in the previous video I told you we're going to be working on ADB but today I don't actually have that much time to cover ADB but uh, there are a couple of things we need to do before we start working ADB and that's what we're going to do in today's video. So we are going to create a server manager class that's going to manage things on a server and it's going to know things about a server. And when I say server, I mean anywhere you run your framework on that's going to be a server. Basically your host machine for the framework that you're running, that's going to be a server. So in my case, that's my Windows machine. And I want my server manager to know everything about my server. That's why it's manager. <clears throat> so I'm going to create server manager in managers package. And things I want my server manager to know is which OS I'm running my server on, uh, I'm running my framework on. So I'm going to have public static and it's going to return a string and I'm going to say get OS and I'm going to create another private uh, static variable that's going to hold a string and it's going to be called OS null by default uh, and here we're going to say if OS equals null then we're going to assign OS value of system get in os.name <clears throat> and then now that we have OS assigned we are going to we're going to return uh, I can type return OS now later on in my framework I don't want to call get OS and then compare uh, whether it's Windows or not. I want to just call one method that will tell me whether this is Windows or Mac or whatever. So I'm going to create public static method that's going to return a boolean to me and I'm gonna say is Windows and if it's Windows it should return true. So we're gonna say get return get OS starts with Windows and then we're going to do a similar thing for Mac so we're going to say is Mac and if it starts with Mac it's going to return true okay then I also want to know um, another environment variable and that's going to be string Android home and this is this is needed for our ADB class later so we're gonna say public static it's gonna return a string get Android home okay and what we're gonna say again similar to get OS method we're gonna say Android if Android is null then we're going to assign android home is going to equal system get environment variable and it's going to look for android home now if we didn't find if android home still remains null at this point then something is wrong something is not right <clears throat> we need to throw an exception here and we're gonna say something like fail to find Android home make sure the environment variable is set Trusty spell checker. 
and then once that's done okay we're gonna return Android home if everything is if everything was successful if we were able to find our Android home variable it's gonna return that variable <clears throat> All right, now we need to create a method that's going to execute some commands through Java against our server, right? We want to uh, do some terminal commands <clears throat> from time to time to be able to execute ADB. You know, we need this method, so let's create it. Let's say public static, and it's going to return a string. And let's call it run command. Um, say it takes a string value for the command that we want to run and we're going to say output it's going to be a string output equals null by default and then we're going to create a scanner okay <clears throat> we're going to create a scanner and then we're going to get runtime and we're going to execute our command in the runtime and we're also going to get input stream and then we're going to use delimiter okay and we're going to say if scanner has a value then we're going to assign it to our output All right. Now we do have an error here that can be thrown, and because you know we're probably going to be using this method a lot, and not to handle this error in the signature because that's going to ask us to handle it later in the methods that we use this method in as well. So I'm just going to wrap it in try catch, and this is I/O exception. And I'm just going to throw a runtime exception instead. Oops. Okay, that way we don't have to worry about this error later on. We can just, you know, get a runtime exception. And, you know, if it's in a test or whatever else, it's just going to fail with that exception. But we don't actually have to handle it later in. So. And we're going to return our output at the end if everything is good. So we're going to return this output. Okay, now let's go to our ADB class and let's create a method that's going to run our commands in ADB. <clears throat> this is the last, for, for this video, this is the last thing we're going to do. So let's say public static call it command so when we reference it it's going to be adb.command um, it's going to return a string to us and it's also going to take a string as an argument and that's going to be our command <clears throat> um, so we're going to check if our command starts with adb <clears throat> Okay, if it starts with ADB, we want to edit our command a little bit. So we're going to say command dot replace. We know it starts with ADB. So we're going to replace ADB with server manager get Android home. And then we're going to put the location of our ADB, which is in platform. platform tools <clears throat> and ADB is the executable all right <clears throat> now then that we have it and then if it's not starting with ADB um, we're gonna throw runtime exception we're gonna say this method is designed to run ADB commands only. <clears throat> and 
and now we're gonna say we're gonna use our mm, let's say string output equal to server manager run command and we're gonna run our command and then we're gonna say if output <clears throat> equals null or output equals empty string or output equals you know, space. <clears throat> we will consider this um, empty. So we are going to return nothing. We're going to return, an, well, not nothing, but empty string is what we're going to return because <clears throat> later on in a test we are going to be comparing outputs of our ADB commands with you know certain expected values uh, perhaps and if uh, say run command return is null for example then we're gonna get well actually you know what we don't even need this <clears throat> Uh, if output is null, we're going to return empty string because later on we're going to be comparing uh, this value with expected value and if it's null, we're going to get a bunch of errors where we don't want them. Okay. <clears throat> and else, we are going to return our output. So now let's just go ahead and run this. Let's do a little test public void test and we're gonna run the command let's say adb devices and see if it works all right perfect so our methods seem to be working I'm gonna stop right here for this video and we're gonna do more later Probably sometime this week I'll release a new video where we actually start working on our ADB class. Now that we have everything set up that we need, we can just focus on the ADB and get it done. So I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to like the video, subscribe if you haven't, and see you next time. Take care.